Stayed in tune pretty damn good. Not too bad at all. And it's been sitting for a while because of the string stretching and everything else. I want to make sure that the neck relief and uh, action, you know, everything was going to stay where I set it up to. So, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to make some noise. This is uh, acoustic, not being plugged in at all. So, switching it, volume, nothing really works. It's not plugged in at all. So, I'm just going to make some noise. I think I make sure is these, these rollers or thumb screws don't come loose. That's better. So that doesn't sound too bad unplugged. Rings out quite a bit. I can, I, I'm still hearing it now. But, yeah, she's not bad. So uh, let's plug her in. See what happens. Recording. One, two, three. All right. So right now I am plugged into the UX2. And I'm running it through Gearbox on a clean channel. Uh, a little bit of chorus and a little bit of compression. And right now I'm running on both pickups. There is no coil splitting or tapping going on here. So uh, let's see what these uh, Epiphone Pro Bucker 2 and 3 sound like. So they don't sound too bad together. Let's pull them out and split these coils. A, doesn't sound bad. I mean, it actually sounds pretty good. Volume does cut down a little bit when you split them, but not by much. So let's go ahead and hit the bridge. This is in full. So let's go ahead and pull the switch and see what it sounds like when you split on bridge position. So, bridge, split. Full humbucker, bridge. Doesn't sound too bad. Sounds a little bit more uh, bassy. Let's go ahead and split that neck pickup. So that's split. That's humbucker. But it doesn't sound too bad at all. This had a little bit of uh, crunch to it, a little bit of distortion, a little bit of dirtiness to it. See what that sounds like.
All right, so today I'm going to be doing things totally different than what I normally do. Normally, I would use some type of modeling software, you know, an amplifier, cab, pedals, whatever, through the computer. Today, I'm just going to be using my pedal board. So I want to get a little bit of a dirty sound, crunch sound, and stuff coming through the Joe Pass Emperor 2. And uh, it's all going to come from the pedal board. So right now, all I have is just a digital uh, reverb set. It's set on spring, and the settings are pretty much on minim minimum, exception of the tone control. It's a little bit towards the high side. So I'm going to start recording this right now. So three, two, one. One is when I hit the button. And let's hear what this thing sounds just clean from the pedal board. So that's the pedal board. Now I'm going to hit it with the blood donor and see how it sounds now see it's pretty quiet there's no noise coming from these pickups it's pretty damn nice <laughs> So that's the blood donor. Doesn't sound too bad. I actually kind of like it. And it's not even, uh, it's a little bit past 12 o'clock on tone is more towards the, uh, uh, I would say like um, nine o'clock side. Um, and yeah, I'd say it's around there. So I'm gonna shut that off and go to the vintage tube overdrive. <laughs> So that's what it sounds with the vintage tube overdrive. Let's go with the Nux overdrive. And let's go with the uh, ultra middle. So that's pretty much it. Um, this will be the last time we go ahead and stop the recording. This will be the last time you see this puppy. It's gone. It's going over to my music store over here. And uh, yeah, so this will be the last time you guys see this. So say goodbye or good riddance, whichever one you want to say. So it came up, came out beautiful. I mean, I can't ask for anything better. Um, output jack worked out really good as far as putting the plate on place. Um, I had three cracks that still kind of showed up a little or three cracks that were hidden one crack out of the uh four total um basically was uh had some air bubbles in it and after doing the glue uh the glue fix so i just said hell with it and i just put a plate on there not a big deal um but everything else is is tip top on this thing i can't ask for anything better got the locking grover tuners on it have the epiphone pro buckers two and threes push and pull so you can split the coils and uh yeah so everything is still up a phone on this thing and pretty much stock other than that and the uh tuners and the electronics so as you can see you see nothing inside of the f holes it's pretty much uh everything's pretty much hidden from the way i wired it so all right that's it say goodbye guys i will catch you all later have a good ones uh and uh take care